Hi everyone, I've got here the new John Lennon Mind Games EP that's coming out for Record Store Day on April 20th. I'm going to show you exactly what's in here. I've also given this a real good listen and I've got some very interesting things to tell you about what's on here. I want to thank the John Lennon team who sent me this. Uh, now, I knew this was coming and they, they'd said that they were going to send it to me. What I didn't expect was that there was going to be two. There are two versions here and again, I'm going to talk about both. There is a limited edition audiophile black version and there is the collector's glow in the dark edition let's have a look it's two years in a row now that we've had a release from the john lennon camp for record store day last year we got this give me some truth white vinyl box set beautiful thing beautiful thing this is uh, but this year it's the mind games ep which is sort of the official kicking off really um in advance of the Mind Games Ultimate Edition box set that's going to be coming, we expect in July. I would expect probably an announcement around mid-May for that, an official announcement. But, you know, it's, it's public knowledge that it's coming. So, this EP is four tracks uh, that are all going to appear in the big mind games box set um i i have i have that confirmed information there's there's nothing on here that you won't get if you buy the full box set of mind games ultimate edition but if you want it if you want the tracks early if you just want to have this piece of vinyl for whatever reason you want it it's going to be here on record store day so there's a good look at the front cover john lennon mind games ep and i like this this is this is the original photo that you can uh, see that was used for the Mind Games album that it was based on. Uh, it's a real nice front cover there. There's the back cover uh, with the track listing that I'm going to come on to and talk about in depth. Let's just show you this sticker here. So this is the limited edition audiophile black 180 gram vinyl. And I think this, really, this one really does as it says on the tin. If you are interested in the best sound quality then this is the one that you may be interested in. Uh, the glow in the dark one, as you can expect, has a little bit of surface noise compared to the black, but I'm gonna show you how that looks, how that actually does glow in the dark uh, in a moment when we come onto that. So let's just uh, have a look at what's inside. We've got polyline sleeve, and we've got side two. Uh, side one, now if you look very carefully, you will see here, I'll try and get you a close up of this, that there's some, writing on the run out groove that says join us uh, and there's also some that says uh, citizen of utopia.com which is a website that has been launched as part of the mind games release if you've not seen it yet then have a look at that you can register yourself as a citizen of utopia leave a message on a on a map of the world at whatever point uh, part of the world you're in that is the black vinyl edition very very nice you'll see that it is uh, made in germany which is generally a good sign of quality for vinyl releases so the four tracks here which i'm going to talk about in depth because i have listened to this quite a lot and i've made some uh, um, considerable notes on this so we've got mind games ultimate mix um, on site, kicking off side A, we've got I'm the Greatest Ultimate Mix, obviously the song that John wrote but later gave to Ringo. Uh, we've got I Seem Sen, I'm Sorry, Ultimate Mix on side B. And then You Are Here, Outtake, Take Two, uh, sorry, Take Five uh, on side B. So, how does it sound? Well, very interesting. So, what I can compare it to various versions of Mind Games that I've got. I've got three copies of Mind Games, but I don't own it on vinyl already. I've got um, my original CD that I think was from the, the, the late 80s, early 90s. I've got the 2002 remix, which is very well regarded. And I've got the remaster from 2010 that's in the Lennon Signature box set. So I can sort of compare it to versions that I'm familiar with. As you will be familiar with if you've been following these ultimate editions the uh the remixes of these songs are very much about getting john's vocal um prominent and shining and and it certainly does that on these remixes so for mind games for example um it's it's the regular version of mind games but remixed and it's got a lot more it's got a lot more sort of mid-range and, and depth to the sound compared to what you would hear on previous versions. So even that 2002 remix, very, very well regarded, but it's still very trebly. Um, I think it's, it's just sort of much better separation and got a lot more clarity, but it's still very trebly. This gives a much richer, warmer sound than what I've ever heard for a Mind Games track before. So really nice uh, for the title track. 
We've then got I'm the Greatest, which, uh, interesting. So it's take two of I'm the Greatest. Now, it is the same take that appears on the 1998 anthology box set, but different. I put both uh, versions into my computer and I had to slow down the anthology version by about five seconds. I had to, I had to stretch it by about five seconds and it then matched up perfectly with what we get on here. I very much suspect that what's on the new Mind Games EP and what's going to be in the Mind Games box set is actual speed that it was recorded at. Um, which leads me to believe that the anthology box version was speeded up. I didn't realise that. Um, I thought at first, I thought, oh, this sounds like it's a bit more, bit more energetic, a bit lively of a take. So I thought it was a later take when they'd got more confident with the song. But no, it is the identical same take, but on anthology, it's speeded up. Um, but it's, it's interesting hearing you know, slightly different lyrics to what eventually made it onto the Ringo album. But this version features Klaus Vormann, George Harrison and Ringo Starr. So we've got a, we've got a Threetles track here, John, George and Ringo on there. And it does sound really nice. You feel like you're in the studio with them. We then move over on side B and we've got uh, I See Him Sen, I'm Sorry, Ultimate Mix. So this is the version that's going to appear on the, the main remixed version of the album. And my goodness, this is different to what you've heard before. And I mean that in a good way. Uh, most, of, most if not all of the reverb has been stripped off John's voice. Um, it's very clear, very natural. The piano shines through. Uh, Dave Spinoza's guitar sounds great on this. Um, I've, I've had some quotes through that have been sent to me from uh, Dave Spinoza, who's very happy with what he hears on this new version. Um, in fact, I can confirm that all the surviving members, uh, all the surviving musicians from the Mind Games album have been interviewed and tell their story in the Mind Games box set, in the books that are going to accompany it. Um, but it sounds to me like a, it's like a plastic Ono band song now, stripped away from the reverb and the, the piano has got a lot of weight to it. It almost sounds like you're listening to uh, God from Plastic Ono band. It's got that kind of a weight to it. So I was really pleased with Isima Sen, which has always been, uh, for me, a nice John Lennon track, but never one that I've really thought too much about or given too much attention to but it's got a lot of weight here and sounds really good then the last song on here you are here uh, which again, you, you'll be familiar with from the mind games album now again it's it's take five which is the same take that appears on the anthology box set from 1998 but again what i've figured out by dropping both of them into my computer and playing about with them is that the you have to speed up, there's about, um, I think it's about um, four and a half, or just under five minutes, the version that's on here. You have to stretch it by 10 seconds to get it to actual speed that appears on this Mind Games EP. But the version that's on the Mind Games EP is the full version clocking in at just under 11 minutes. Yep, you heard right. We've got 11 minutes of You Are Here. Uh, here on this outtake and it sounds gorgeous it's so chilled out so relaxed and it, it almost feels to me like um sort of an early version of beautiful boy if you imagine a, a real nice laid back demo of beautiful boy this is this is on a par with that i did notice that uh the anthology version from 1998 has got a little bit more instrumentation going on uh what sound like i'm not sure whether it's an electric keyboards or some sort of um or some sort of percussion instrument that there is more of on the anthology. So either that was overdubs on anthology, which as it I suspect is what it is, because I think what they're doing here is releasing, you know, as it was in the studio. So I'm sensing now that the anthology is actually quite different to what was recorded live. But again, it sounds beautiful here and you've got 11 minutes of it. Let's take a look now at this glow in the dark edition. Now, if I just pull this out of its polyline sleeve, you will see that it looks like a sort of a, a not very clear vinyl. Now, if you take it straight out of the polyline sleeve and turn all your lights off, it'll glow a little bit, you'll see here. But I find that if you, um, if you know in advance that you're gonna be playing it, take it out in advance. Let it just get a little bit of light. Now that could be natural, natural light from a window, it could be a, a room light that you've got on. But if you give it half an hour or so, 
and then turn your lights off, then you start to see something like this, which I think is pretty funky. I sometimes listen to records with the lights off and I think it would be quite good to do that with this one. Now, with it being glow in the dark, it, um, I think the, the chemicals that are used are different. They do add a bit of surface noise to it. So I think they've been wise to use the word audiophile edition on the black, because if sound quality is your utmost concern, go for the black. If you want something funky, go for the glow in the dark. Still sounds very nice. Um, it's the same mixes and everything. It's just got that little bit of extra surface noise. So these are going on sale, as I say, on 20th of April for Record Store Day. Um, hopefully you can get some on the day if you, if you want these. Uh, they may well be available afterwards if you're lucky. Uh, but if you miss out on this, everything that's on here will be in the big mind games box set that we expect to be coming out in july so don't think you've missed out on having any of these songs and i like that when that happens i like when these limited edition things don't have audio that's exclusive to the limited edition set so thank you very much to, again to the john lennon estate for sending me these i'm very very grateful for that so are you planning on getting this or the mind games ultimate edition box set when it comes out let me know down in the comments i'd love to know what you're most looking forward to in a mind games box set but i will see you very soon and of course i will be covering that release all the way